so uh, so hello. Uh, my name is Sarah Klipski. I, I have a yeah. I have I have a little project to show, uh, which is called Puffin. Uh, free web hosting for for average users. I hope uh, so. Here is it's about uh, making uh, distribution simpler for normal user. Uh, so I was wondering how to start, and actually I, I would like to start from uh, maybe unconventionally a bit. Let's start with a demo, and then I will. Give you some some theor theory. I mean, some uh, some boring stuff. Uh, how it works. So uh, okay. So how to do a demo like this? Okay. So this is the this is Puffin. This is a, a experimental application, right? Uh, it's it's a web app uh, running on my server. So the first thing you can take a look is the is, is to learn learn a bit more about the application. As you see, it's a, it's it's still simple, but I will show you. So you can you can read some uh, some basic stuff. So for example, getting started, we should first register. So let's register. Uh, so uh, test six, let's say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, email address uh, test six at loomchild.net. Actually, I won't. Uh, I won't. Sorry, I don't. Need, I don't see anything. Yeah. Oops. Uh, that's, yeah. That's good. Uh, oops. All right. Too much French keyboards. Oh, well, we're good. <laughs> it's actually not important. Uh, well, I put my name here and password. Well, already it's chosen for me. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know what it is actually. But I just wanted to show you if I register. Yeah, so so it will send me an email uh, to, to register to, to configure. So I won't open the email account. I will just log into the, to the newly created user uh, for FOSDEM. Uh, so let's log into to this one. So after logging in, uh, I'm able to actually install those apps. So, uh, so what I wanted to show you is I will install a blog, a simple blog. Uh, so this is uh, this is Ghost, right? So the first thing you can see, okay, there's a screenshot. The first thing, you, oh, a couple of screenshots. I mean, the resolution is a bit different than I'm used to. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm a bit surprised what's going on here. But uh, the first interesting thing you can do is you can change the domain uh, DNS. I mean, uh, to, to point to your application. Uh, I actually already changed it, so I, I put it here. You need a—it's not fully automated. You need a, a wildcard on your on your domain, or by default, it uses Puffin Rocks uh, because you can also use it. Uh, so let's not change it, uh, and I can just run it. Uh, so yeah, it will take uh, a minute. Uh, as you see, the I'll see how long it takes. I haven't started on this user, I think. So yeah, it's updated. Actually, what's happening here? It's uh, it's starting a container, uh, or a bunch of containers, uh, to, to to run this up on on the server, on my server. Uh, for now, it's just a single machine, but uh, yeah, I'll, I will show you why why it's it's pretty good. Um, once we get here, I will I will show you that actually this app will be available right for 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 the network. So as you see, it's the idea is to keep it one click basically. So you 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 click. And you install your app. So the idea is, is to keep it similar to the familiar for, for users to um, to look like a mobile app, basically, or mobile yeah, mobile app on the phone. Uh, you can see it better on a on a bigger screen. So uh, I can open my app. So this is a ghost, right? Uh, running. You can access it also. I can post something. I wonder how much time do I have still? Are we on time? Well, pretty much. Uh, yes. So I need to set up this ghost first. Uh, so I need to create my first account. So uh, so I can say fosdem at, well, this is my email now. Ah, oh, my God. Sorry, I don't know why, <laughs> why I'm doing this. Uh, well, fosdem passwords. Let's keep it secret. I think there's only one password now. Do I need to repeat it? Yeah. Block title. Okay. Tests. One, two, three. Same as your password. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This is my main password. No, this is my root password. Actually, that's not. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no, I'll do this later. Right? I don't have a team. Uh, maybe you know, unless you want to invite it, to be invited. So I can create my blog. Blog. Right. Blog post. I can say it, hello. Let's say, sorry, I should I should put it both on my screen on this. It's a bit hard. Uh, hello, Fosdem, right? Uh, and I can save it. I can publish it. Publish now. Publish now. So uh, yeah. So technically, I mean, 
so I have a blog, right? It's, uh, it's available, I have, I have my first blog post. So the idea is this, I mean, uh, to allow like normal users without, as you see, it's pretty simple actually, the best would be without any configuration, but there's a bit of config configuration. It can be automated too, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, so this is my blog. Uh, so let's go back to, to Puffin. So I can see, as you see, it's very, very simple. But I have my application. So this is my ghost that is currently running. I can run some more applications. Uh, what else I wanted to show you here? Uh, actually, this is also interesting. Um, you can add a new application. I mean, currently it works. This is not user friendly. This is a, this is a GitHub pool. Uh, still, so yeah, but it needs to be improved, uh, of course. So it should be easy to, to add your own applications. Uh, there's some there's some trick to it, but I mean, I will I will show you later. So this is this is a demo. Uh, thank you. So uh, so we can go back to the presentation. So I will tell you maybe a bit what you just saw, how it works, right? What is it? So what is it? Uh, so uh, so what is Puffin? So uh, I I think there are three. We can say there are three parts to in Puffin. Uh, there is the there is the platform that actually is responsible for uh, for running those um, for managing the containers, managing the applications, remembering which application is running, uh, setting up some basic stuff. Uh, because I actu actually, if I showed you actually the email, for example, if I register my user, the email emailing works. <coughs> so I, I receive an email. Uh, there are some basic services that provide, but actually the platform is actually nothing more than uh, than there's the Docker Compose. It just calls Docker Compose at some point. Because applications are actually are actually directory, so so the next part of the of Puffin is, cata is application catalog. It's curated, so the idea is to is to keep it uh, interesting. I mean, only the curated in a sense. I mean, well, yeah, anyone can contribute. Actually, it's it's not that it's actually not completely true. But uh, the idea is in each application, I just capture the how to install it. So basically, if I want to install a, a blog or a or a forum software, I go to a website and I read the instructions, how to install, I need the MySQL, I need this. And with this, I capture it in a, in a Docker Compose file. So this is the second part. So I'm actually, all of them are independent. So platform, how to run the, those, those containers, uh, the, those applications, the applications themselves, the catalog. Actually, you can disconnect them. You can, you can use just Docker Compose pretty much uh, without using Puffin. And the, and the third part, uh, part is, the, is the hosting platform, so you can actually Go to Puffin Rocks and install your uh, and, and and run it, right? So uh, the idea, well, I will show you later, but uh, yeah. So so this is the centralized service actually. This is the centralized part of the decentralized internet, right? Uh, but actually, anyone can run uh, their own platform. It is very easy. Uh, but there is also a hosted platform for users who who don't want to bother uh, installing anything, installing, uh, managing the server, or uh, mm, yeah. So those are the three parts uh, I want to talk about. So, so now maybe a bit how it works. Uh, so quickly, uh, it's by written in Python. Uh, it's using Docker, of course. It's using Docker Compose. I will show you how the how the application looks like. It's pretty much Docker Compose is the most important one. There's a reverse proxy because uh, I have a bunch of containers running on the server, so so the requests need to be routed to them somehow. So there's a I currently use nginx again. It's an, it's containerized. You can use any I can use anything. I, I'll probably switch to H -pro HA proxy. And there's a, yeah there's for example email prostix uh, relay. So it, this is actually a little container that forwards to a real email server this time, right? So, because I don't want to be sending serv uh, emails from my own server because I will be probably blocked. I, I need to be careful about this. So I wanted to show you another quick, maybe not a demo, but uh, how the application looks like. Oh, it's a bit cut. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, maybe I will just double click. Will it work? No. OK, uh, let's do it this way. So, uh, so this is my catalog, uh, right, apps. Uh, so I, I can show you I can show you Rocket Chat for example. Uh, so all I have here is Docker Compose, README, and some pictures. So uh, Docker Compose, uh, Docker Compose. I will just quickly. Oh, it's it's too big. Sorry, I was I was trying on a smaller screen. Uh, what? Okay, let's also resize this. Uh, yeah, so what you see here is, uh, is actually yeah, Docker Compose version 2. There are two services, main and uh, at DB. What is interesting here, I mean, what is different from, from standard Docker Compose, I need to have some environment variables, uh, virtual hosts and, uh, and uh, virtual ports to, to tell the, 
the proxy how to access the application. Then I, this is a standard application setup. Actually, this application is pretty good because it allows me to configure itself via environment variables. If it's not available, I can generate a, a config file at startup, for example, from the environment variables. Uh, and I set up root, uh, root URL. So technically, I can run Docker Compose this, and it will run my, my Ghost, uh, my, my Rocket Chat. Another funny thing here is that I have three networks because I, each application has its own network to be to be separate from the others, and I have access to the front, so the to the um, to the uh, proxy and back to the email and other services provided by the platform eventually. Uh, so so yeah. Uh, some, some other services in the it's kind of a private private cloud uh, and uh, of course I store data in volumes I don't want to lose my data so this is the, and this is the second container uh, database um, yeah pretty much standard uh, and this is those one oh, one little tap oh shit okay yes so the other part is the is the readme file it's a, it's, it's a markdown it's nothing else than a markdown uh, so Really? Are you sure? Okay. Yes, you're right. Ah, uh, yeah. Because it's okay. Uh, now, okay. The most funny part is okay. Why it rocks? Uh, well, it actually doesn't rock. It's dot rock. It's just dot rocks. Uh, it doesn't rock yet, uh, but I hope to make it make it rock. Uh, yes, because it's, it's decentralized. You can run it. Uh, you can run uh, your own. Uh, it's simple for a user and for a developer. Uh, so user can. Um, uh, uh, it, it, as you see, one-click install, and for developer, it's easy to add the app. Uh, it's, it's pretty friendly. It's free as a freedom, and it's free uh, also as a beer at the moment. But actually, you can run thousands of containers on a, on a simple server that costs 15 euros a month. So, so it, I think you can pretty much keep it free. Uh, for example, run a, a platform for your friends. It's, uh, I, I haven't seen any problems. I have only one server now and pay 15 euros for it. Uh, okay, a bit about future challenges. It's, uh, it's still an alpha. I delete data. Yes, that's my, my alarm. Uh, it's it's more like an egg than, than a puffin right now. Security is a big issue here. Uh, it's uh, it's multi-tenancy, so I have several containers running from different people on the same machine. This is still unsolved problem. You can still escape the container, but I hope it will change. I, I'm uh, I, I'm pretty sure that you will be able to run containers somewhere uh, in the cloud or on your servers, uh, and they, they will be separated. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful it will be like VMs at some point. I know they are not VMs. Uh, yeah, and a couple other things to, to, to do. So, uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to contribute, uh, first you can try it at Puffin Rux, just install Docker Compose app. It's very easy to start up. And then there are a couple of links if you are interested. So, uh, and sorry, just to, one thing I want to leave you with is that, yeah, the, the idea here is really to make it distribution simpler. So, give, give free software to the, to the users much easier than. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't have to be complicated. It has to be as simple as uh, software as a service, as Facebook. So you can install Diaspora like this, or, or as blog, uh, or form. Okay, thank you. No time for questions.